Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to A Clumsy Flight, a game that I'm having an intense amount of trouble even getting off the ground, which is a little rough, but I think once I get there, it won't be so bad. Uh, so you'll see in a minute why. So, it's a bullet heaven, uh, like so many others that I, I've played, except for this time around, uh, you move in the direction that your cursor is, or you can change to kind of like WASD steering. It reminds me a lot of Nova Drift, but not quite. Okay, and I gotta hold off for a second. When I'm not firing, I heal. Which is super helpful. And yeah, the problem is I have to kill a handful of planes here to get my first level up. Once I get that first level up, this game becomes massively easier. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Cooling down, upgrade the gun. No. Alright. So give me a second. Controls, back to advanced. So the reason is uh, the basic controls for this game work really well up until you have the... Uh, a weapon that can be freely aimed, at which point you want to divorce them from your mouse. Uh, or where you're steering from your mouse, so this way I can move forward and shoot backward. Uh, let's see, so I can increase the spray amount? Yes. I'm just going to level this gun up. I... I actually think this is the best way to potentially play this game, which is, oddly enough... Ah, balls. I guess I have to shoot forward and possibly die. Ooh. I'm gonna grab the poison shield. That gives me two extra temp health. There we go. And I might wanna just take my regular gun and give it some damage when I get the chance. Leave behind toxic smoke that deals two damage. Yes. When my shield comes back, if it comes back, I certainly hope it does. Okay, extra fire rate, decrease spread, increase ammo speed. I'm gonna just keep leveling up this SMG, I think. Okay, avoid that. Don't take too much damage. And we're good. Okay, helper poison plane. There we go. To some degree, maybe I should actually start using the SMG. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's actually a limit to the environment, which is kind of rough because that's where the enemies come from. And, uh, boy, I cornered myself. The run had some legs, but it wasn't quite there. Uh, I don't actually know if the smoke trail is that good initially. I'm not sure if that shield comes back, which is a bit of a concern. All right, let's try this again. So first things first, we're actually gonna go into the controls once again, switch it back to simple. I really wish there was actually a way I could hot swap these while I'm flying. Because the initial bit, aiming and flying, is so much easier. Go back down. It's so much easier with mouse control. Okay, bravery shield. Helper bird. Randomly attacks enemies, four damage every hit. That sounds handy. I don't actually know how good that's going to be. Okay, get some HP back. Take out a couple of these guys. Yeah, the helper bird seems kind of just okay. Okay, and we want to go for stragglers if we can. We do do ramming damage, but that's not exactly primo. Uh, add two extra birds. Two birds? Ooh. Bird spec. Okay. And I gotta cool down and not trap myself against the infinite clouds. I honestly wish this was actually a simulated uh, globe instead or something. Having uh Hard arena limitations is actually really punishing. Unfortunately, I don't know if my birds are capable of, like, really killing here. They just do damage to anything. And I don't think that's going to make them... that solid. I don't know what ammo speed means. Gonna make it so enemies have a 3% chance of exploding. 
which feels really useless right about now. Okay. Put some distance. Well, there's two explosions. I was really hoping I could get... I was really hoping I could get the, uh... I think I clicked out of the game. Uh, I was really hoping I could get the birds to explode things behind me. Yeah, because they're, they're hitting them back there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what I need. Okay, back to advanced controls. Oh no, no, why am I facing this direction? I wasn't... Well, that's a problem. This feels like it needs a patch or two to fix it so it's like slightly less clumsy and then I think it'll be amazing. I think I'm just gonna have to get used to advanced controls because, uh... That was... I, I can't do that again. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll just have to learn how to steer. No. Yeah, see, the problem is you you turn really quickly on keyboard and mouse. Or, not keyboard and mouse, WSD controls. Which means it's very easy to, like, uh, accidentally overturn. And ram. I think the other thing I need to do is actually just save up for a much better starting weapon. The, the handgun is atrocious. I unfortunately bought uh, another character who's not very good. I might actually just have to play this like bumper boats until I get my first level, you know, just being very selective. Okay, cooling down helper plane. Oh, follows you around and deals 10 damage. Well, a helper plane. Okay, so it shoots forwards. And really chaotically at that, so I don't, I don't necessarily believe too hard in helper plane. Ooh, fifty percent damage upgrade on my my basic pea shooter. I don't actually know how much damage it's doing because the font is confusing. Near as far as I can tell, that's a huge upgrade, though. Okay. Yeah, so I think all of these shields get destroyed. I was hoping that they'd come back after uh, after a short period of time. Okay, and I don't want to get stuck. Uh, toxic exhaust or rotating poison? I guess I'm going to do the toxic exhaust. The problem is it needs more duration to really be solid. Okay, but it's getting us some extra kills all the same, which I will take. Okay, rotating missile, rotating ice block. I'm just gonna up my own damage further. Damn it. How much money am I getting? I mean... 91. It looks like I might just get a dollar per green plane. That's a little rough. Because, yeah, I actually got a decent amount from a single a single really good run. But unfortunately, yeah, I need 1,500 for the SMG. Uh, wait, pistol and then... There's another pistol. There's also a shotgun? Wait. I'm going to go with the shotgun. We'll see what happens. I didn't realize that was 400. I... seems good. It's raw damage leaves something to be desired. But that can be rectified. Okay. Just kind of spin out a bit. And avoid. And blast them all. Don't worry about the damage. I'm just here to get some points. Unless I don't gain levels for ramming something. It's possible? 
Yeah, we gotta put some distance. At least the shotgun lends itself really well. Okay. Extra damage. There's also mechanic ammo speed. Now let's just go raw damage. I don't actually know how effective that's going to be. I think I'm doing five damage now per shot. Which I'll take. Whoop. I'll take and I will put some distance. And then avoid. Ugh. I'm so close to lo a level. I just need, like, the grenade launcher or one of the missile launchers. And then this whole thing opens up. Uh, let's see. We do have toxic exhaust or we have the sniper rifle. All right. I think we have our winner. Because the shotgun should keep most things off of the front. Speed increase, rotating shield, or 70% extra damage on the shotgun. My thoughts are... Buff the shotgun a little bit so it can keep enemies off of our front. And then see if I can get some like piercing or other things. On this mechanic rotating missile or decrease spread, increase ammo speed. I think that just increases how fast it fires. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, cooling down, infuse electricity, increase fire rate. Mm. I guess let's infuse electricity. I don't think there's anything I can do about this at the moment. Okay, what do we have? Helper bird, increase ammo speed. Still don't know what that does. Short circuit a plane, two damage over time. So it's like a damage over time effect and might also stun them. It's not useful at the moment for me, but it might be really good against bosses. Yes, there are bosses. Of course there are bosses. Why wouldn't there be bosses? Okay. Frankly, I think I'm just going to continuously invest into damage on that shotgun and I actually don't know what upgrade I just picked. It's fine. But yeah, I'm pretty sure my shotgun can't overheat. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Uh zoom out dang it yeah like I said cornered myself in that arena and no it looks like I just get a dollar per enemy killed which I mean we did better on that one just rough okay try this again I, it's a hard start like most bullet heavens just kind of start you out easy. This one's just like, hey, by the way, if you're bad at any point, uh, you're kind of you're kind of boned. I, I think the easiest fix would be ramming an enemy should just give you EXP. In fact, I think ramming should actually be a build. Because yeah, here I just shot a bunch of enemies. Maybe I actually did get EXP for that, but I'm I'm not dead. Okay, what do we got? Rotating gun, missile. Hell yeah. Oh, please don't kill me. I just started this run. And this missile launcher is like the saving grace. It's just... Enemies keep spawning in front of me. Uh, increase fire rate, increase base speed. I guess maybe what I should do is focus less on killing what's behind me and focus on just getting the safety gaps. Okay. Poison plane, zoom out. I'm gonna zoom us out. I don't even know where that dash was going. I really wish the dash would actually have us dash over 
enemies so I could get out of being surrounded. Because, yeah, many of these enemies just kind of come in in groups in such a way that it's actually really difficult. Ooh. Increase missiles by one. Oh. Oh. I... Those people on the boat below must be having the weirdest day. Just, oh man, I wonder what's going on up there. Oh god, why are there so many planes? Like, it's cute, but it's confusing. I'll grab a helper plane. Not that I'm amazingly, amazingly convinced the helper plane is really that good. Okay. Let's uh, see, increased missile damage and speed. Yep. I think these upgrades are randomized, by the way. Not that that means much of anything. I... Oh, no. I... Yeah, the moment... Like, there's very little warning where the clouds are, and there's almost always just, like, a ton of enemies surrounding the area. I, If you notice, I killed 559 enemies there. Like, I killed a ton. That was a way more lucrative run than any of the other ones I've done so far. <sighs> it's just still only helps so much. Okay. I don't have enough money for anything. I could maybe go for like a different... Sh I could go for a different vehicle. We could pick a different map. But I think I still want a different gun, first and foremost. The... I need something that can kill. And the pistol does not have that. There we go. I really, I took four damage? Weird. Certainly didn't feel like I did. I was mildly distracted. There's, I think, a raven outside being like, Rah! Holy smokes, that is a noisy ra raven. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I can. All right. Let's try this again. Like I said, got to be one of the hardest starts in a bullet heaven I've ever seen. Okay. I almost wonder if it is actually a really good idea... Oh yeah, and being being next to the clouds is death. Let's see, rotating gun, normal weapon. I don't know what kind of weapon it is. Oh, it looks like it's just a pistol. I have a pistol that does a decent chunk of damage. I'll take it. I'll take anything. Okay, I should probably stop shooting for a bit. Ammo speed, decrease spread, rotating missiles. I gotta heal. Okay, the other thing is... I gotta heal again. What I liked about the missile launcher and the shotgun, actually... I might have to think on that. Okay, three rotating missiles. These missiles have some options, but I was going to say, uh, ooh. Please don't, I don't want to die yet. No, 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 no. Moving too fast. Okay, got my HP back. Props to the rotating missiles. They are actually probably one of the most effective means of keeping me alive. Okay, freeze enemies, Ch enemies have a chance of exploding, increase ammo speed, no. Uh, let's see, helper bird, six missiles in my orbit. Rad. I guess I'm just going to be a wrecking ball. Yeah, 
Did anything fast or fool enough to decide to give me a hug is going to have a bad day. Nine missiles in my orbit. My main question with that is, do they come back faster? Oh, they most assuredly do. Okay, I should cool down. Okay, increase this gun's fire rate. I, the shield of missiles, man. And this is why I stuck it out. It, it's definitely one of the most frustrating bullet heavens I've engaged in so far, just in terms of like the early game experience is miserable. However, there's potential here. There's a lot of potential here. The, the complications on the moving actually makes the game almost feel more compelling in a way, which is weird to say. Because, like, obviously the more complicated the control scheme, the more frustrating the game is going to be. But at the same time, that limitation gives rise to more of a feeling of... Uh, gives rise to more of a feeling of, like, accomplishment when you actually beat it. Within reason. You know, it's definitely one of those that if it's too frustrating, the game's just not going to be fun. Uh, at all. And so, like, I almost quit this video a couple of times. But I like I kind of knew deep down that there was something about this one that was going to be worth giving a shot. Okay, these green planes are a problem. Okay, 12% chance to explode. Now I'm going to up my max health by one. We're getting to the point where it's going to be boss time. Yep, there they are. stuck inside of them. How am I not dead? There we go. Okay, so we have to do the shotgun. Or some other equally slow-firing weapon. But at least we made a decent chunk of money. Okay, so we can't do SMG. How much money do I have? 21... Do we want to go for the cheapest sniper available? I'm going to give it a shot. Because we don't want anything that can fire quickly. We just want something that does a ton of damage and fires very, very seldomly. Did that only do 10 damage? Oof. On the plus side, that seems to one-shot the green planes. So the main reason behind wanting this sniper rifle is as long as I don't really push its fire rate that much. As long as I don't push its fire rate that much, it'll never overheat. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the poison bomb is really that helpful. So effectively, I'm going to just have infinite fast healing here. And here's where I die. Heat up less fast, repair faster. I don't know if that's going to be that helpful. In fact, I think I'm dead? Nope, not. And see, the pistol wouldn't have let me heal in the middle of that. And that would have been an issue. Okay. Let's see, increased fire rate, chance of exploding. Okay, let's get away from this. Pulse. I, I still think that sniper rifle is good. I don't think the poison bomb is nearly as good as the missile. Um, but I think the true secret of this game is getting one of those omni omnidirectional weapons. If you can get that, you've got a good run on your hands, or at least you can get kind of far. I really wish I could set that as my standard starting weapon. I also do wish the, uh, the harder planes were worth more, so the longer you go, the easier it is to get currency. I don't feel like the unlock system is that bad on this. Ugh.
but it could be a little better. Toxic exhaust or rotating grenade launcher. So I have to preempt them a little bit. Okay. Decrease spread, fire rate, tempting. But let's go helper poison plane. There we go. Okay, like I said. Once you get some of these, you got a good run on your hand. Lifetime poison trail or rotating big missile. Let's do the rotating big missile. There we go. That can take out quite the crew of ships here. Two big missiles or... I'm waiting for a really big damage upgrade on that one. Let's work on the big missiles. The poison trails are nice, but we currently aren't benefiting much from them because the enemies aren't sticking... Uh, aren't... Yeah, this is such a problem. Okay, three big missiles, three big missiles. I want to upgrade the grenade launcher, but I haven't seen any further upgrades for it. Go by. Oh, you know what? I know I'm getting surrounded more here. Oh, ammo speed is probably just projectile speed. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't care too much about that. But yeah, because I'm killing so many enemies, it's got like a quota for how many can be on screen or in play. And so when I kill a lot of them, increase the amount of, amount of bullets by one. Well, that's... Uh, actually less useful than I was hoping it would be. Uh, let's see, increases all poison damage by two. Lifetime trail. No, fire rate on the grenade launcher. Like, a lot of these other ones would be nice. But the grenade launcher is my best chance. Let's see, health up or poison trail? Poison trail. As much as I like health up. I don't know. Okay, what else do we have? Damage, zoom out. Let's zoom us out. Even that 10% can mean life and death. Or something, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I've already made a ton of money. Extra spread, double damage on current weapons. Interesting. I don't know if that would really help me. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I also don't know if that really hurts me either. My grenade launcher seems to have very functional vis uh, functional aim regardless. Game does look like a lot worse out here. <laughs> like this zoomed out though. That is one downside. Let's see, piercing. Now let's go for explode. Okay. It's almost in my best interest to make myself explode here more than anything else. Okay, further zoom. I... You know what? We've committed to this hell that I've inflicted upon us. I can't tell where I'm flying anymore. 
it's an issue. Okay, what else do we have? Holy shield? No. Damage by 13%? I have no other choice. I know if I've even harmed the boss. Oh, and I'm dead. Finally. Well, that was one heck of a something. Well, we made some money from it at the very least. I think that's going to be as far as I can get, though. As much as I'd like to maybe go further, I just... I feel like no matter what, most of my runs are going to end there. Maybe some of the other characters are going to be able to, you know, survive longer or something. And maybe some of the other weapons. But I think what this game needs, to some degree, is actually uh, just some patches to make it feel a little bit better. Namely, getting surrounded, like... There needs to be gaps. With how clumsy the movement is, it needs to feel like I always have kind of a a path that I can fly through. And unfortunately, what it looked like for the most part was that there was kind of a quota for how many enemies could be on screen at once. And if you kill too many, more enemies would spawn in front of you. And if you had a giant cloud behind you, you'd only have a handful of enemies uh, spawning around you-ish, kind of. Uh, but oftentimes it was like me panicked trying to sort of shoot for a gap that wasn't there and maybe make it work. But with how clumsy the the movement is, the game is actually weirdly punishing. And so I think if we can figure out how to um, be a little, little bit less so, a little bit more beginner friendly, especially at the beginning of a run, I think it'd be better. I, I've thrown away quite a number of starts because it just wasn't. You know, I'd make it like 30 seconds in and die before I even got an interesting upgrade. The other thing I would say is the uh, the randomized weapon upgrades. If you notice, I really didn't upgrade my sniper rifle there because ammo speed is mostly useless. Uh, from what I kind of experienced, like maybe occasionally a little bit would be good, but only like one. Uh, and half the damage upgrades were like 10% more damage, which is like a plus one damage upgrade on a gun that already does 10. And it's like, I don't know, don't care about that as much. But at the same time, I like it because it is a different flavor and it's kind of, the the kiddish charm of it actually is quite appealing. Uh, but I just think it needs to be a little bit, a little bit more before I come back. So for now, at least, if you guys want to play this yourselves, it's available on Steam. It's not a demo. It is an early access, uh, so it'll have a whole bunch of fixes. And it's five bucks normally going uh, and down to 434 for launch week, which I guess ends in a week. Which, I don't know. I, it's definitely the kind of thing to keep an eye on. I'm looking at some of the, the gameplay gifts for this. And it looks like they're doing a lot better than I am. So, clearly, I think there are secrets to do well on this one. But for now, I don't know. So, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe. Because I got tons of them to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.